Hi and welcome to Add More Zest and my name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147 and I've got something exciting, a little bit different for you today. Um, so this is from a company based in Germany and um, they are called Karat, C-A-R-A-T, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, it's quite possible that I'm not. <laughs> Um, but this is from their Carat Artist collection. I kind of feel like I need to open it this way because it's very eco-friendly wrapped, which is awesome. Um, so having said that, I've sort of cut down the seam here. Oh, it might work. I was thinking it might not work. But I think there's going to be some ripping involved anyway. Just to, by the time it's got all the details on there and the customs details and all that sort of stuff, it makes it a little bit harder to get into. Um, but yeah, this has come all the way over from Germany. This is from their Carrot Artist Collection. And it is an exclusively licensed, so they are a licensed reseller of the art that they do. And they've got some gorgeous images on there. It did take me a bit to decide. Now, oh, okay, I'm in without all the dress details going everywhere. Whew. Okay, let's get to the really exciting stuff now. So there we go, carrot.art. And I will pop a link to their site down below. But I like the box. Let the pleasure begin. And then DIY art kit elements. So we've got high definition printed canvas. I'm reading the English, by the way makes more sense for me. Uh, I can translate the page as well, so I was able to actually have a look before I chose one. Uh, State-of-the-art diamond drills, pick and drop accessories for drills, diamond sorting tray and a wax pad. So it includes everything that it's got in it. It does also give you instructions, all the standard diamond painting instructions. It does actually say, once you've finished as well, cover the canvas with the protective film and slightly press down the diamonds with your hand, a book or a suitable tool from our accessory store to keep them firmly attached. And it is shrink wrapped to ensure it's the water. If anybody lives in, I'm going to say Europe, yeah, a lot of Europe, you will know that but we do experience a lot of rain. I know everywhere else in the country does as well, but I'm sure we get like somebody else's share worth of rain um, on top of our own, because we do get a lot. So th there is a need um, for plastic in some instances to make sure that goods arrive and are safe. Uh, but as I say, this is from their Carat Artist Collection. So we know that the artist is going paid for their work oh, oh i've got one rogue gray diamond i haven't got a load scattering around the box i have got one rogue gray one though looks good quality in fact there's a there's a second so maybe i do have a little bit of spillage but this is the image you will see why i chose it as i unwrap it though look at this okay so we do get an inventory sheet which is awesome when kitting up flipping it how many colors has this got loads so this is a 50 by 60 that is the image how stunning is that and we do have four ab's in this so we have 310 ab 318 AB, 666 AB and a 5200 AB. So they do use DMC codes. 
I think we do have a little bit of spillage of a grey. Oh, but it's in bags. I like that. Yeah, we do. One of the bags has spilt a little bit inside there, but look at all these reds. So yeah, we've got a little bit of a white AB. I'm going to get these all out in a minute. We've got a grey AB and the others will be in there somewhere. But there's so many colours. Normally, with bags, I'll hold them up like this and you'll see them all. But there's so many tucked in there and I want to find the ABs. So let's have a look at the canvas first. I mean, look at that. So I I've got a square one of this, but the image is gorgeous. I'm just trying to get the canvas to tuck um, so that it won't roll up on the other end. It's got 68 colours. That is amazing. The symbols are all looking really, really clear which is fantastic. I'm not seeing any that are too similar and next to each other. So I do have a T, not a T, it's an angled T, so it's like that, um, an angled one. And we do have two of them close to each other, i.e. we have one that way, and then we have one where it goes that way, if that makes sense. <laughs> if you think my fingers are the T, um, but one of them is in black and one of them is in white. So you can clearly see the difference, like there's no question over it. So we've got that T symbol or the slanted T symbol. And then we do have another one right next to it, but one is white and one is black. So to me, that makes it completely different that I won't get confused. But, oh, do we have? We do, we have some AB in the fox's tail and in the fox's face and ears. Oh, gorgeous. It is a lot, it's like, it's very, very striking artwork as well, which I really, really like. Who was this one by? Let me, because I've forgotten who it was by off the top of me and I'm probably not going to be able to pronounce the name either. Uh, let me just translate the page, translate it to English. So it's called The Fox Girl. And here we go, about the artist. So Vivian Valentin. Valen I'd say time, but it's, it's not got an E on the end. So it's Valentine without the E. Vivian Valentin. But isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I love it and you, some of the shine you can't quite see it it is a poured glue so it does come with the clear cover very sticky which is good right let's have a look at some of the diamonds let's pop her I feel like we need to see her face we need to see her face and the fox's face though I think I need something heavier oh look I have some Cardstock here. Let's pop some cardstock at the top of there to hold her down. Let's have a look at some of these diamonds and see if I can find where these grey ones have come from. It just looks like we've got one bag that has lost its seal. It's just become a bit undone. But look at all these. There is so many reds, oranges, peaches. There's an AB, so we've got some 5200 AB and some 666 AB. I sort of want to see, you know, how much AB we've got, as much as what we've got, but I think we've probably got every shade of red that we possibly could in this. Loads of peaches, we've got some greens, lots and lots of oranges. We've got some 3371, 817, got a few different bags of those, three bags of those. I have got one rogue red diamond, that's probably just missed the seal. We've got some normal 310, and these are all done by weight, because when we look we have got different weights on the bags. 
So it will be a matter of potentially checking off the numbers and then the quantity of the number um, is done by weight. So as long as you have every number you should have, then we should be good. 3779, I think it's a lighter grey. Ooh, 318AB, a nice grey AB. And here's the black AB. So there's a nice scattering. That's the normal white as well. Oh, I, found, I found the bag, I think. 317 is still sealed, but 414 isn't. Here it is. We've got an, uh, a gap in the 414. So that's where my rogue diamonds go. Just not quite caught the Ziploc. So let's have a look at the others and then I can make sure I can catch them all. They've got all got caught up in the bags. Let's move them over. So we've got some 413, 400, 720, some normal 666. We've got some 154 as well. That bag's sealed, but can you see it's got two sort of caught in the zip that haven't quite gone into the bag before it was sealed up. That's what I think happened with that red one. Some pinks. Oh. There's not too many dark colours. I think the darkest colour we've got a lot of, well, we've got a few 310. It's not surprising the size of the picture, is 3371. But really, there's not a huge amount. Okay, that's a 317 that's just got caught in the Ziploc. And they're all 414. So it's just the 414 that I've got a few of them that have escaped, but I'll pop them back in. But look at that, that is an epic kit up. So that's not going to go in my case that holds 60. That's going to have to have Megan giving up my case that holds 70. <laughs> the definite. Um, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous image. There is a few different, there's of course quite a few different images on their website, quite a few different artists. They're not things that I have seen in diamond painting before. So do bear that in mind. The only thing to note is they don't ship to all countries. Um, so they ship to all European Union company countries. Um, they also ship to Switzerland, Norway, the US, Canada, Australia and South Africa. Um, so that doesn't actually include the UK. So that is something that UK viewers do need to note. Um, but they do ship to quite a few other countries if you want um, something a little bit different, something where the artist does get paid for their work. That's just going to look, I just love the way the fox and the, and the girl sort of merge into one um, and then the striking background that just makes it pop. I can't wait to do this one. So yeah, thank you so much to Carrot Art. Um, I do hope I'm pronouncing that right. Please let me know if I'm not. Um, but I do thank them for sending me this painting to share with you all. Um, because I do think it is important to recognise, you know, the, the ever-growing companies that um, do license art. Um, and to let you all know, you know, where they are. Um, because they do deserve your support. But yeah, if anybody wants a, a lady cuddle in a fox or another piece of unique licensed artwork, then I will pop the link to their website below um, so you can go and check out their collections and all the goodies that are coming. Oh, toolkit. I forgot to look at the toolkit. So I do like the fact that we've got an inventory sheet. That is always helpful. I do like a good square painting as well, as well as round but you can often tell the quality um, by getting a square painting and the quality definitely looks amazing. So toolkit wise, 
We do get one of the white boats. Um, there are a couple of different levels of white boats. This is the nicer level. Um, there are some that are a little bit smaller. We do get some nice blue wax and it comes with its own pots, which is always good for it not drying out. You get a four placer, a seven placer, a pen with a single placer and a foam squishy to pop on your pen and keep your fingers safe. And you do get a pair of tweezers. Now may, that may be because I've got the square kit but if you do get the square kit, you have, you do get a set of tweezers with it. Um, this one does come in both round and square. So just to, just to note, it uh, comes with both round and square. It does state that it has a minimum of two AB. This square kit has actually come with four different ABs, which will give a really nice scattering of extra sparkle across the whole diamond painting but yeah this one is going in my stash I think that is going to be absolutely gorgeous to do it's nice and confetti as well let me just it's confetti-ish without being too confetti if that makes sense so there's a lot of detail gone into um the background and of course bringing out the face, etc., and the cute box. And that will, of course, become clearer and clearer as soon as you start placing diamonds on it. But yeah, thank you to Carrot Art for sending me um, this painting to share with you all. Thank you to all of you for watching. And I'll bob the link down below so that you can go and have a look at the unique art pieces that they have available. I'll speak to you all again soon.